All right, good afternoon, everybody. We're so glad you're here with Daily Vlogs. If you enjoy the video, make sure you come back every day. Kind of a crazy day, and I know it's been kind of a crazy vlog. Um, I think Sarah explained that in yesterday's or earlier in this vlog, if this is being lumped with it. I don't think it is, actually. She edited it last night. Um, it's Thursday. We got a busy weekend, our last, like, quote-unquote normal weekend before the move. Christina and the kids are over right now. It's lunchtime. I have a very busy work day. I'm on my lunch break, though. I'm going to eat this Bop and Grill burger. Um, Christina is over with the kids because she's actually going to watch Teddy and James for a couple hours so Sarah and I can go to the Drake Hotel and go to their, like, lounge bar for a couple of, like, fancy drinks to celebrate and, like, just something we want to do before we leave Chicago as residents for the foreseeable future. So I have Eve in my room trying to keep her away from <laughs> the kids eating all their food. <laughs> Well, this is the first clip for the vlog I've taken today. We're ha trying to not be a little anxious. Mm -hmm. um, we've never left both of our children together. Like, yeah. we've both left both of our children, but never together. Like, yeah. this is the first time both children since yeah. Teddy's been born. They are not with us. Right, and I think the only other time was Leslie Odom Jr. concert. Christmas of 2021. That was like our last date. So we're going out. That was just James. Yeah, it was just I, I mean, I was pregnant with Teddy, but he was with us. What good vloggers. Our nice camera literally died after Sarah took that shot. I said how cool vloggers, nice vloggers we are with our camera dying right after that last shot. So we're, just <laughs> so we're going to Cope Dior at the Drake Hotel to go grab some fancy drinks, mm -hmm. maybe a dessert. Um, just to soak up the Drake in Chicago, yeah. just a little date. Yeah, we're obviously going to be leaving very soon. This is like part of our heart here that we haven't really gotten to do while we lived here. So, yeah, are you guys, we did come here and vlog it before. Just imagine all the cool vlogs we would have had if we vlogged during college. Yeah. When we, when we like, all we did was go on dates downtown yeah. all the time. But that's what I proposed. And the lights have not been on, or at least we haven't seen them be on, since we stopped and got out to take that picture. So I'm so happy that we did that. <laughs> wow. We are going to be downtown this weekend. We're probably not at night. Yeah, like, at night. This is like quintessential Sarah Peter vibes. Yeah. Chicago. Not, not St. Patrick. St. Patrick's Day Chicago downtown is a different vibe. Yeah. This is like college life. This is freshly married life. Yeah. This is going here and talking about wishing we were our, we were our babies would be here already. Now they just gotta get old enough so we can bring you a whiskey bar after 9 p.m. <laughs> Prohibition ended. The Coke Dior served the second drink in Chicago at 8.30 p.m. on Wednesday, December 6, 1930. What's first? The, the first was at the Burgos. <laughs> Sometimes I have Peter check my drink to make sure there really isn't any alcohol in it. <laughs> it's like a orange cranberry thing. Right. Do you guys pick how much I'm looking for? Do you guys ever smell deodorant? Or smell bar deodorant? <laughs> yeah. And it smells like the yellow because like your mind has associated a specific deodorant with body odor. Sometimes I think Sarah like has that when she when she has to order like not a specific mock like, hey, can you just make me a drink that's not alcohol? Yeah. They say what it is and they'll say like it always gets her when they say it's supposed to be vodka, but we put in this instead. And then we get the drink and nine times out of ten it's when they say that. Mm -hmm. It was supposed to be this liquor, mm -hmm. but instead it's this. 
that she's like, I think it tastes like alcoholic. Like, <laughs> How's your drink? Really good. Like I said, I just, uh, just told you, I don't, I'm not a big fan of drinking that really strong. So first just sip like, on it. <laughs> there we go. Sarah got. <laughs> I got French onion soup. French onion soup, like we didn't just have a bunch of big old lunch and a big old dinner. Do you love yeah. food? And it's That's it. It's plain and simple. We, we eat at home. We arrived at Disney and it's like, I could eat so. Don't burn yourself. Right, and I don't know the last time I've had a meal where I just feed myself. <laughs> you deserve it. Thank you. Alrighty, we got a crab cake. I mean, that's both well, things are just like little snicky snacks. That looks good. Yeah. Peter got a little, not a little martini, a big martini. Executive style. I guess it's a good thing at the Drake. Ooh. Oh, it's the Drake. It's not just a thing. Goodbye, Monica. <laughs> I just hope you know that reference. That is very dangerous. I've never, I don't usually get martinis. I got a martini at Elton John's husband's bar on our honeymoon in Vegas. <laughs> I think that was the last martini I ordered. Yeah. That's dangerous. Yeah, good? It's good, yeah. All right, we just filmed this like three different times because Sarah's phone, we didn't realize Sarah's phone was getting out of storage. Yes. We ordered the carrot cake. We were swindled maybe on the table because it looked really good. I thought this was ice cream, but I think it's like... Cheesecake. Sarah's awesome. having a hard time talking right now. I am. She's acting like she's drinking the executive style martini. But it's gelato Ooh. with um, carrot don't, cake. Don't look at the video. Don't look at the video. Remember, because you're supposed to remember it. Are you a vlogger? I'm not a food vlogger. I just eat a lot. <laughs> Sarah's in her like vibes today. She's got a fresh pair of Levi's jeans on. I know the last real pair of jeans I've had is I've rocked jeggings for a long time. And now you're a millennial. Now. Ooh. <laughs> I think I think my mom bought my last pair of jeans. Did you guys know that Sarah's mom bought her a pair of? diamond earrings for college graduation and we've been holding a secret that she lost one of them for years i'm still hanging on to the other one though because i think i'm gonna like put it in the necklace yeah this is dark but we talk. never let your mom know so now she's gonna haunt you until you find it she knows that was like four apartments she ago knows. <laughs> all right <laughs> our, our little like what hour and a half date is coming to an end <laughs> This is just like so Chicago. It really is. And Chelsea and Cole, when you watch this, we did reference how you guys will be watching our kids when we're in Florida. Yes. And Walt Disney used to come here. Booyah. Cute feelings. She's trying to take a clip and I'm telling her she doesn't have memory on her phone. <laughs> we decided we're going to try to come here every holiday because we came here once with Sue for afternoon tea for Christmas. It's so great. I want to stay here again. We once woke up in the morning and dropped off Sarah's wedding dress and my suit there. Yeah. For and Peter didn't have shoes with us, and so we <laughs> walked out in the slippers. This fancy hotel. I walked out in like just basic slippers out to the drive. <laughs> and then we drove out six seasons. Yes, we did. No small feet. Yeah, I'll put some pictures in from when we like took our little morning out. Should we uh, go home to our babies? Yes. The look at these paintings. That is such a good view. A little river, a little flag action. You can see the John Hancock in the background. So nice. This is the restaurant we ate at before we got engaged, but it was called, what was that restaurant called? Cape, uh, Cod? Cape Cod? Yeah. Cape Cod. Uh-huh. So good. And we, got, we walked out here. It was so cold. They don't call it the wind is the name of it. Oh, gosh. She's yeah. a bucket head. Oh, gosh. She's a bucket head. It's getting late and we're just avoiding bedtime, but I think we're going to we're gonna rally. And this little one. I would just like to point out that it is March 9th, 2023. And it is in fact snowing. There's snow on grass, there's snow on cars. It's not accumulating on the sidewalk, it's melting. But uh, yeah, it's snowing. And with that, I'd like to reiterate, 
we are moving to Central Florida in under two weeks. So, no more snow in that regard. Man. I remember last year, uh, this Saturday is the river dying. The Chicago River dies green every St. Patrick's Day. And last year it was very cold. I have not looked at the forecast yet. But I would love for it to be not as cold as it was last year. Um, Teddy's asleep. Sarah is putting James down. I've cleaned up. Um, just going to kind of hang out until she puts him down and comes out. Snow. March. But that's Chicago, right? All right, so Sarah's out from putting James on, but I wanted to show you this beautiful piece of furniture we purchased. It needs a little TLC, like a very little, like, and buff that out. I'm fairly certain if I take the hardware off and, and polish them, um, they'll look gold and bronze. This got detached during a little incident coming out of the car, but look at this, it opens up. This is what we put plan on putting below the TV in like the living space of the townhome. There's a shelf in the car. So there's one shelf here, three drawers. This is by Drexel, which I believe is out of business now, but it's like very sturdy. It's got wheels. So there'll be a shelf in there, three drawers, and then the side cabinets a shelf as well and so what we want to do is put like the kids toys that we'll have in the, li in, like, the living room in there above the TV that'll be hung on the wall it won't sit on there but really great sturdy piece of furniture big old new TV above it were you asleep with James It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Happy Friday Eve. Thank goodness. What a long week. Yeah, it was a long week. It was a weird week. Um, I pointed out in the clip before, but um, I think you need to look out the window. There's snow. Good afternoon. We're so happy that you're here. We get daily vlog. So if you like this video, we hope that you'll come back time and time again. I am strolling to the dentist this afternoon to get my permanent crown in. Um, and that is my last like housekeeping appointment that I wanted to like get done before the move. So that's a big deal. Um, last time it hurt. So hoping, hoping that's not the case today. Oh my gosh. This just reminded me that I actually am not done with my appointments. Remember those boots that Peter got me, the um, Doc Martens? He got me them when we vlogged in the Fab Five to Seven days. I broke the zipper and I've been meeting the whole time we've lived here to get them fixed. And that just reminded me. So if you don't see me go and get my boots fixed, could somebody please comment, Sarah, get your boots fixed or just like comment every vlog until I do it because I clearly have forgotten for two years, um, and I really want to do that before we go. Um, also, Our Lady of Mount Carmel is right next to us, the school and the church, and they're all decked out for St. Patrick's Day. Look at those flags flying. So even though St. Patrick's Day is a week from today, the festivities downtown are this weekend, as well as the Southside Irish Parade, so we're very excited for that. But it's gonna be chilly, but it's all right. I think last year was chillier on like the downtown day. It was so, 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 so cold. And this is like manageable, but like, just like not even 40, like high 30s. And like, I don't know when and where that became like not so cold in our book, but who makes it? Mom has a fake tooth. Uh, two? Two fake teeth. 
So I got our second crown finalized today. How does it feel? Now I have three more fillings. <sighs> That's for dip dip dip. Um, it feels like, feels good. Feel, it was still? better. I didn't get any of this because it's just putting it on and they want you to feel. Last time they had to like put it in, put it off, put it in, put it out because like it wasn't like leveling out with the rest of my mouth. Today they didn't have to do that as much. Yeah, it was pretty quick. <laughs> like that, that portion of it hurts and like the drying of your like. Teddy, 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 Teddy. Teddy dances to all music. And it's so sweet. I love it. I just ran to Jewel for some quick ads to our flatbread night. I had made this sauce the other day. I have flatbreads from Aldi. I did get cheese. We're just, we want like, we're in the mood for that instead of it being like totally veggie. So this is vegetarian, not plant-based. Um, and I also got some tea, like chai tea. I got more Green River cause this weekend. I got James fresh crayons, markers, and color pencils because he's been super into drawing lately. And what we had just kind of like got run down. What else did I get? Croutons because I'm going to make a little Caesar salad. And pre-chopped up zucchini and onions and squash to put on the flatbreads. Sauced up my flatbreads. Veggies have made it on. This one's a little bit more packed. So one will probably be what Jamesy eats. I'm gonna make this one a little spicier too. Alrighty, the cheese is on. I'm gonna top them with some salt and pepper and some olive oil. And then when they're done, I think I might do some pesto, like make a little pesto glaze for on top. Oh, I just missed James laying on his stomach like a classic little kid coloring. With some brand new markers and colored pencils. Pizza. And here is how they turned out. Hmm. Oh, the egg. Pizza. Oh, he's ready. Oh, and here's my salad. I walk into the room after getting in some comfies, and this is the uh, the site I find. <laughs> Someone just kicking their way to their feet, having some delicious ice cream with their ma. Mm -hmm. Teddy's down here too, he's exploring. Yeah, he's reading about Frank Lloyd Wright. <laughs> and Eve is just so in chaos mm -hmm. with every cute little pitter patter step. It's just about midnight on our Friday and the boxes are beginning to encroach further. We've got like three more stacks, or like two and a half more stacks of boxes complete. The big one tonight was starting the boys' room with all the toys and emptying our extremely packed closet. So like, we've got some bags down there that we have to either sort through or we're gonna use to move, along with like things like shoe holder, wearing that tomorrow, and pieces of our fast net. But this is a huge win, that being done. If you are a fan of Schitt's Creek, or the American Pie movies, or I'm sure there's many other movies I could reference, but Eugene Levy is in a new Apple TV show. It's almost like a Somebody Feeds Philip of a Canadian Eugene Levy version of it, um, called Reluctant Traveler. It's on Apple TV Plus, it's new, and I'm loving it. It's been like, the episodes are like longer, they're like 45 minutes each, and I like having them on in the background while we pack. Like Sarah's editing right now, I'm packing, that's on in the background, it's just a nice, Nice thing to have, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, I have this like anxiousness that like we're leaving tomorrow and we are leaving very soon, but we do have like 10 days or nine days left, but we have a lot of stuff to do in between that and lots of people to visit and things to still do, like go to the city hall and do a couple other things. And there's still stuff on the walls, but it's like, I don't, I have to figure out how I'm gonna pack this. I have to figure out how I'm gonna pack the big dream city Still have to get like pot, flower pots down. So still, I feel like I, I don't know, I keep bouncing back between like one second, I feel like there's a lot to do left. And the next second I'm like, oh, we're basically done. I don't know. But it is no easy feat uh, moving across the country, especially with two little kids and a dog and um, 
maybe I just like pushed it out of my memory, us packing up and moving up here two years ago. As we had James, but I guess he was only four months old, but we still had a lot of stuff for him because he was four months old. But we're getting there. We're getting there. All right, Peter. It's a big weekend. One of our favorites of the whole year. I have to go to Night Nights. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>